Choosing a web host is overwhelming for beginners with so many acronyms and bytes, let alone website hosting cost considerations. But as someone who's familiar with all of these options, my goal with this video is to simplify everything to find out what the best WordPress hosting option is for your website. At first glance, all of these entry level plans might appear equal since they all give you literally the exact same WordPress but the underlying hosting has major differences. And actually there is one huge factor that sets one of these plans apart from the rest. So on that note, let's start out by comparing the monthly cost of website hosting. And as you can see, the cheapest WordPress hosting on the list is this plan right here from Namecheap. But the thing is, we're not really comparing apples to apples here. And while Namecheap is cheap as its name implies, it's the only company not to include an SSL certificate, which is a deal breaker for me. So let's re Wait a second, I fucked up. In the beginning of this video, I said that I wanted to simplify things for you. My goal with this video is to simplify everything. And then I go say SSL certificate, which you who is new to this whole website hosting thing might not know what SSL means. So real quick. An SSL creeps your website's connection. It's an interesting standard, a very necessary protection. So in my eyes, any website hosting company that does not include all the things you need to host a website should be removed from the list. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so on average, WordPress hosting costs a bit more than $18 a month. So anything to the right of this line is among the cheapest WordPress hosting options. Next, let's see what kind of SSD storage space these... <sighs> Morgan, you take this one. When I look back on my life, I recall two types of storage hard drives, and solid state drives. If I had to choose, I would pick SSD every time. Let's see how the storage space compares between our hosting plans. And as you can see, you're gonna get somewhere between five and 30 gigabytes of storage space for your website. Now, most people think that more storage space is better, but what most people don't realize is how small websites tend to be. The 10 WordPress websites that I personally run average around one gigabyte of storage space with no single website taking up more than three gigabytes. Now, if you wanna make a portfolio or a photography website, then you might wanna consider a web hosting plan with more storage space. But otherwise, if you just want a blog or a website for your business, these are all viable options. Next, let's consider the cost per gigabyte by taking the monthly hosting price and dividing it by the storage space, and we get a better idea of how overpriced some of these hosting options might be. With Presidium, you're paying relatively a lot and getting minimal storage space, while these options over here are better priced. Now, this next topic is quite possibly one of the most confusing aspects of website hosting, so pay attention. We're going to discuss limits. Every web hosting company imposes some type of limit, even if they advertise unlimited. Some web hosts count each page view as a visit, while others count unique visitors. But what happens when you exceed the limit? Well, some web hosts just use this number as guidance, while others charge you extra immediately when you exceed your limit. Here are roughly how many visitors each web hosting plan allows. These plans here actually allow unlimited visitors, which we'll talk about in a second. This one from DreamHost gives you a bit more than, on average, 3,000 visits per day, and the smallest plans go as low as just 160 visits or so per day on average. Now, you might think that one of these plans over here is the way to go, but what you need to realize is that page views are just one limitation to web hosting. You also need to consider bandwidth. What is bandwidth? Let's say that the average page on your website is 3 megabytes in size. Each visitor, for example, will not only increment the number of page views, but also add to your monthly bandwidth allocation. Here's a breakdown of how much bandwidth each web host provides, but before we go on and eliminate these hosts over here with relatively small amounts of bandwidth, you need to understand one more acronym, and bear with me, that is CDN. What is CDN? Web hosting with a content delivery network takes all the static resources from your website like images and scripts, which tend to be the bulk of your page size, and places copies of them all around the world. This not only speeds up your website, but also drastically reduces the amount of bandwidth that your website uses. So in my opinion, a generous CDN limit is much more important than bandwidth. And as you can see here, most of the web hosting companies that offer unlimited or high amounts of bandwidth do not include a CDN. To me, any hosting plan that doesn't include a CDN is a deal breaker. And to be fair, some of these plans do provide CDN at an additional price, but because of that extra cost, let's eliminate them from consideration. And actually, I'm not saying you need unlimited CDN, but 
10 gigabytes isn't much to work with, so let's eliminate this one too. And now we are left with these six. Let's compare the cost again. And at this point, you might think that GoDaddy is the way to go. But like I said, there's one huge factor that sets one of these hosting companies apart from the rest. There's a lot that you can do with WordPress alone, but if you wanna take your website to the next level with a memorable and engaging style that's literally as easy as drag and drop, then Elementor Hosting is the clear winner here because it has the number one WordPress page builder included in the cost of hosting, something that would be an additional cost anywhere else you might choose to host your website. With the included Elementor Pro plugin, you get contact forms, hundreds of themes, social sharing buttons, global fonts and colors, motion effects, text effects, all features that WordPress alone doesn't support, and actually most of which would require additional plugins and paid subscriptions. Not only that, but Elementor has tailored their web hosting to work in harmony with the Elementor Builder by number one, running on top of the Google Cloud Platform, where each website gets 512 megabytes of dedicated memory and auto scaling capabilities. And number two, by optimizing server configurations at every level, which ensures both a seamless creation experience for you and also a fast and highly engaging website for all of your visitors. And by the way, you might think that making a website like this is a lot of work, but with Elementor, it's as easy as naming your site and then choosing one of your favorite website kits, at which point you can start editing the layout to your preference with any of the dozens of drag and drop widgets. When we look at all of our hosting plans again, Elementor Hosting is the only one without any deal breakers. It's priced affordably below average, and it provides more than enough resources for most beginner websites. And the good news is that even if your website requires more, Elementor Hosting has other plans with even more resources to fit your needs. Don't worry, Elementor has 24 seven global chat support and they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So with literally nothing to lose, why don't you make your website a reality and use my affiliate link in the description below to sign up for Elementor hosting.